everybody. So we're on the way to the NFL. Uh, second game of the season here in London. Well, we're not in London yet, but we're on our way. You looking forward to it? Very much so. We're listening to Eddie. And he's yeah. on air at the minute. So we have. all over the road, Eastern Corbin. <laughs> with these strong winds, I'm trying not to be all over the road. <laughs> We're expecting hurricane winds here. Um, so it's going to be a fun drive. Uh, we've left Eddie and Sophie in charge of the studio while we were off out having a laugh and a great time. Uh, Eddie won't be joining us at the NFL today, but um, Kerry will be from the other blocks. So you'll see her a bit later. Uh, who do you think is going to win today? Shipping 49ers all the way, really. In theory, but last time he said that and his prediction didn't come true. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the Jaguars. <laughs> the Jaguars. <laughs> we like that. I hope that announces back again. Yeah. I want Jaguars. his voice. Um, Rob is super, super excited because next year's season's, uh, next year's fixtures, should we say, have been announced for London. And who's playing? Dallas Cowboys! <laughs> yes, yeah, so Rob is a big Dallas Cowboys fan, so he's looking forward to that. That's about it, really. We're going to concentrate on the road, driving in these high winds. Um, we'll speak to you later. Bye! Bye! Please welcome the 2013 Jacksonville Jaguars cheerleaders, the Roar of the Jaguars!
stops short of the first down. Hi all. So, good game. Good game. Awesome game. 49ers won. It was always going to be a 49ers win, to be honest with you, but the Jacksonville Jaguars, they did they did all right. They did okay toward the end. Well, they seem to miss the point. <laughs> like, I know, if you're a Jaguars fan out there, I'm really sorry. But the point is to catch the ball. They couldn't catch a thing. <laughs> they kept <laughs> dropping and fumbling. It was, and the, the quarterback's passes. So, yeah. You know, I don't know who he was they passing They had a few to. issues, let's they say. But highlights got to be the mascot. The mascot was awesome. Yeah, jumping out of the roof yeah. um, was fantastic. Obviously, that's on the vlog earlier. And then he streaks. He streaks across <laughs> the whole pitch. Awesome. But then an audience member took the lead and jumped the fence and did a runner across the pitch. Yeah, he was promptly brought down by real security yes, though. Yes, and then security <laughs> was stepped up slightly within the game. And on the plus side, the Cowboys won as well today, which is really good for me. And looking forward to next year. The Cowboys come to Wembley. So excited. So we're already planning for next year yes, and what we're going to bring, outfits, flags, you we're name it. We're dressing up next year. We are dressing up big time I've next decided year. that I'm going to be a buccaneer and dress up as a pirate. I like dressing up as pirates. Why don't you just dress up as a cowboy and support the cowboys? Well, I will when it's cowboys time. Oh, okay. But at the other two games, I'm going to be, be a buccaneer. buccaneer. All right, okay. So she thinks she might have finally chosen a team to support. Yes. All, All big... down on the colour of the outfits, obviously. The colour of the outfit and the fact that she can dress up like a pirate. Yeah, well, what else is there to be? There you go. <laughs> the uh, the storm front on the, the good side is that, you know, the high winds and that aren't here yet. So uh, it's still, it's raining a little bit. You can see it raining just a tad. But the good news is the high winds haven't hit yet, so uh, we're going to cruise on home nice and safely, get home, and we'll see you, well, real soon. Yep, yeah, you're back on air soon. Back on air soon. Eduardo, Eddie, sorry, I always call him Eduardo in, yep. the, in the work. Um, he is off on his honeymoon now. Yeah. It's all right for some. He's, He's touring around Texas, having a whale of a time. So we still don't like him. Yeah, we're not talking to him. Not talking to Eddie. <laughs> don't know who he is. Who's Eddie? Don't know. Don't know, Haven't me either. Clue. I have a vague recollection of someone yeah, that uh, used, to present, used to present on Two Country. Before seeing Jason Aldean, yeah, Jake Eli Owen, Young Band, Jamie Johnson, yeah, Red Steagle, Don Edwards, yeah. you name it, he's seeing them. Don't know. It's alright for some. Anyway, we're <laughs> going to drive home safely and we'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye. Bye. So I thought I'd just do a, a quick update. The A uh, lot of water on the roads. And the wind hasn't been too strong, but it's starting to pick up just a little bit. But we're only sort of 20 minutes from home now, so we're doing okay. But the real reason for the update is that as I was checking my phone scores, it looked like the Cowboys were home clear and dry. And they've just lost to the Lions by one point. Really, really disappointing. So they head on home. Uh, I'm not sure who they said they were going to be playing next week, but... Uh, that's quite disappointing. I thought that was a Cowboys win all the way. It looked, it looked like it was done and dusted, but uh, there well, you go. I love the story is don't count your chickens. Don't count your chickens, chickens before they hatch. And uh, I guess just another disappointment and part of being a Cowboys fan, I suppose, you know. We know what to expect. It's the way it goes when you're a Cowboys fan. So, anyway, we'll uh, we'll sort of update you and speak to you real soon. But uh, bid you night. Say goodnight.